Welcome back to another episode of Story Time. Um, this one's gonna be kind of short. Today I'm gonna be telling you about this time my friend tried to get me to overdose on vitamins. Now I know you're thinking, what? But no, I'm serious. She didn't even realize what she was doing. And that that's the funny part. Okay, so I was at her house. And she was, like, maybe five or something, because, like, she clearly didn't know better. And I was, like, three years older than her. So, anyways, she was like, let's have a tea party. And I was like, oh, okay. So then we went around to the front of her house and then sat down on, like, her front porch. And then she was like, wait here, I'm going to go get some snacks. So I'm waiting, and then a couple minutes later, she comes out with two cups of water and a jar of something and she was like I brought gummies and then uh, and then she set the jar down and I realized it was actually a bottle of vitamins and I know they were vitamins because they were these princess vitamins and I had the same exact ones at my house and then she just like opened up a bottle and she ate like five of those and then she was like here try one and I was like um those are vitamins you're only supposed to have two a day. You will, you might get sick if you have more. Well, I don't know what actually happened if you had more. I assume like getting sick or like dying. But anyways, she was like, no, they're not vitamins. They're gummies. And I was like, the bottle says they're vitamins. And I had these at my house. And then, okay, so... Finally, she convinces me to try one, so I just pick one up, and I, like, take a very small bite out of it, and just then, her front door flies open, and her mom comes out, and now, that was, like, the only time I ever saw that friend get in trouble for anything, like, she got sent inside immediately, and I was just left there, like, WTH, but yeah, anyways, I've never seen her mom yell at her like that, and here's why. Because her mom was kind of one of those entitled parents who never thought their kid did anything wrong. Like, usually when something bad happened in the neighborhood, and it was her daughter's fault, she would blame someone else. And then she wouldn't get, and then uh, she wouldn't get her daughter, my friend, in trouble. But that time, she did, because there was, like, evidence of her overdosing on drugs. I mean, batteries. Wait, I'm in vitamin. I don't know why I said batteries. Um, yeah, anyways, I just went home after that, and it was so weird. It was kind of funny, though. Like, okay, obviously, she didn't die. She didn't get sick or anything, so, I mean, she turned out okay. (laughs) But, like... That was the last time we had an unsupervised tea party at her house ever again. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this story because I enjoyed telling it. It's one of my favorites, and uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye! Oh wait, thank you for like 145 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna make a video for it soon to celebrate. I just don't know when. But yeah, anyways, thank you. Goodbye.